Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. This is just a quick update because really ADA is moving in slow motion. While others are moving down in slow motion, others are moving up in slow motion, ADA is just moving sideways in slow motion. So yeah, it's not it's not really doing any, any progress. Um, we still have on this chart a potentially bullish wave count. The current sideways structure on the ADA chart, in my opinion, represents indecision, uh, a balance of forces. Markets are waiting for a move. Maybe they're waiting for a move um, in terms of what Bitcoin is doing. Yeah, but at the moment, this is just sideways for, for weeks now. It's just been moving really across this important 30.5 cent level that we've identified. It was a previous breakout point to the upside. It was previous resistance, now support. So it's quite an important level down here. But the overlapping price action doesn't really leave us with a substantial upward trajectory here on this chart. Yes, we are holding an ascending trend line. And because we are holding above the 30.5 cent level and because we are holding above the trend line for now and haven't got a sustained break below that, I'm still tentatively following this bullish wave count, but I'm hesitant to give any trade setup here because I don't have one. It's not reliable at this stage. I did give one which worked, but uh, down here, but um, I'm not giving another one because I don't, I don't see the clear high probability trade to the upside from here. Surely for anybody who wants to do it, you know, we're pulling back to a, to a trend line and off a trend line, you can always, you know, measure your risk quite accurately. I mean, look, we have pulled back to a trend line. We've pulled back to key support. Um, you could just go long and set a stop loss below the 25th of July low, okay? Uh, because we break below that, I think the sell-off party can start. However, uh, I'm not telling you to do it. And also you have to understand that um, this is a poor probability trade because I don't see re and decent odds that we get this rally. It's just that you can measure your risk quite well, but it would not be measured by, let's say, or it would not be based on a Elliott wave count and setup. It would be more like a traditional like on a trend line, traditional support sort of kind of um, setup. But yeah, it can work. Absolutely. Anything can work, but we're not looking for like any trade. We're looking for reliable setups, okay, where reward is high and the risk is low. So on the ADA chart, my view is unchanged. Yeah, I still think we can follow this wave count higher, but it's an unreliable one. And to really confirm that a lasting low has been established on the 10th of June, I need to see all these five waves filled in. And then we can look at a three wave pullback if we get one for the next pullback trade setup. At the moment, I don't see it. Important to understand that below 30.5 cents, I think the sell off can start and we go lower and we're going to take a look at a more bearish wave count in a minute. And you need to understand that above 38 or 38 and a half cents, it's not one particular price point. It's more a bit of a level and, you know, a range. Yeah, above that level, we might actually have a breakout to the upside. As you can see here, this was quite an important level as well, around 38, 38 and a half cents, where we had a lot of resistance and support before. It's a bit like, and I explained that yesterday, that above, or oh, sorry, below 30.5 cents, it's quite bearish. In the in-between space here is quite neutral. And then we have this, yeah, this sort of um, range or anything above 38 and a half cents seems to be potentially bullish. So we've got these uh, categories here on the chart. And at the moment, ADA is rather neutral, potentially bearish. Okay, so just be aware of that. Looking at the long term, no, not the long term, but the alternative, let's say bearish setup or wave count yeah here we have the possibility and actually probability it's it's quite a probable count absolutely a valid count we have a wave three low completed in january end of december that was here at around 24 cents since then price moved up in three waves which i count as an a wave of a triangle then three waves down and b wave of a triangle three waves up you yeah? C wave of the triangle, we could now be in the D wave and one more high could be missing for an E wave before we make a new low, a new bear market low. Okay, so again, I'm not primarily focused on this yet, but it will get more and more important, especially the longer ADA needs to get out of this mess. And as long as we are holding above the trend line, I'm purely observing it. But if we break below that yellow trend line there, which I also have on the more bullish wave count um, chart, 
we break below that trend line, then this is certainly the one to focus on with a potential target range between 23 and 20, 28 and a half cents for this D wave. We should that can then get a reaction somewhere there for a small E wave rally, but it would only be a lower high, maybe into the low 30 cent region again, and then we could make a new low. At, at least it's something to follow. Yeah, I'm not super reliable at this stage because I don't have enough waves to really call it a triangle. It's only a three wave move so far, but certainly one that would fit into the picture. Yeah, that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.